Hello and welcome to Die Rolling. I'm Adam and today I'm going to be opening V Commando's Secret Weapons. So this is an expansion uh, to a game called V Commando's which I'm playing solo at the moment for the channel. Let's take a quick look at what we get in this first expansion. If I can get into it. Now if you've uh, ever seen any of these videos you know I always struggle again to these things. So if you've not seen it you've been warned. Okay, so um, lovely artwork on the front of this. Um, and it tells you everything you're gonna get in the back. So what we've got here is we've got some more double-sided tiles for more missions, um, which honestly, I think that's a, just having the double-sided tiles is great because the more terrain tiles you have in here, the more variety, the better, really. Um, uh, you get three new commandos. Um, you get 13 terrain cards, um, 10 operation cards, 18 event cards, 26 character tokens, 44 equipment tokens, and one rule book. So what I'm excited about mostly in this is, well, a few things really. I'm quite excited, like I said, about the new terrain. I'm also quite excited about the new commando choices we've got here. And also we've got, um, we've got some new types of equipment, which that's great. Tough to get out there. Uh, nothing on the inside lid, just checking that for Jamie. He likes to know if we've got anything in there. Uh, now, these games come in um, English and French, so I'm not going to need the French rules unless I'm suddenly going to learn French. Maybe I should do that, learn French through reading rule books. Um, okay, so nothing on the back here as, as with regards to like a, a turn order or anything like that. Um, uh, so we've got our rules here. Always really nice artwork in these. Um, and we've got some new equipment in here. So we have the Panzerfaust, which looks like it's some kind of rocket launcher, which is great. We have the mortar. Uh, we have smoke grenades in this one. We have gas barrels. And we have the Goliath, um, which looks like it's some kind of like tank or something. Um, okay, it was a small tank control remotely. So it's like a little drone thing. Interesting. Uh, and then we have um, a paratrooper as well at the top here. Um, and this this thing here, which I'm not quite sure what this uh, entails really. Maybe it's just an action shot from one of the levels, but uh, there we go. So that's the rule book. It's not very long. It just details the new things we're getting in this. And I'm expecting to get double cards in this because we'll get French version and English version. Um, so there's our French stuff. We're gonna get rid of those for the moment. Uh, so we have some new um, terrain cards. Uh, well, by terrain cards, I mean these are the uh, scenario kind of uh, cards you're going to be creating to to do the map for the level. Um, so we've got an airfield, we've got a barn, we've got uh, Operation Chain Eagle, uh, Center Operations, um, uh, Operation Atlantia. Um, and on the back of these, they tell you how to set the levels up themselves. Got a hangar, um, so uh, U-boat base, uh, garage, and a test facility. And then we've got our first, uh, first, first new guy, who's the mortar gunner. So on this side, he has got, uh, for two actions, he can fire with a mortar, uh, which is his weapon, which he can use all the time. Obviously sets the alarm off every time he uses this, but you know, just three damage, which is good. Then two action points to shoot bombing. When using a bombardment, you may target one outdoor tile on all terrains in play. So if you had multiple um, multiple terrains out, then um, which you often do, then you could target two places. That's pretty cool. So that's one side of him. And he starts with a Colt pistol on that side. And the tan side, um, he's got precision firing with mortar. If two or three dice hit the tile successfully, eliminate one more enemy unit. So he's just more effective with the mortar there. Uh, then we have a V2 uh, launch pad, Operation Rapicus, Engineer's Workshop, uh, a hill. Then we have the Butcher, who's the next guy here. So um, passive, he ignores gas when wearing a German uniform. Passive, actively, um, after succeeding, a stealthy close combat attack may pull the pin out of the enemy unit's grenade instead of eliminating him. Pick up a grenade token and place it on the enemy unit token. The grenade explodes when you decide. Zero action points to blow that grenade up. Uh, one action, perform a close combat attack when visible. So he's got these kind of, um, these knuckle duster blade things. So he can basically just attack people. That's really handy. Um, 
He starts with a Panzerfaust as well, so a grenade, uh, sorry, a rocket launcher. He's got a gas grenade there, and his pistol, the SNW Victory. And then the other side, he's got a bunch more equipment there. So ignore gas when wearing a German uniform. For each shot targeting this commander, ignore all dice rolling a six, and perform a close combat attack when visible. So he doesn't have any guns on this side, but he's got a gas grenade, two grenades, and the Panzerfaust. Then we've got uh, V1 ramps here. Operation Snake, Goliath Factory, Operation Redfish, uh, U-Boat Base 1. And then we have the Intel Officer. So her passive ability on this side is each time an objective is completed on her terrain, draw one event card and place it close to you. You may can't cancel the event card drawn at the beginning of a turn on her terrain and replace it with a card close to you. Um, so that's pretty good. You basically get to um, keep these keep these event cards and use them when you want. Uh, which is really handy because a lot of the event cards you get, if they're, they can be, they're all pretty good, but um, sometimes you want to, uh, sometimes they don't actually help you. Like you might get an extra action point for a particular uh, like commando, but they might ha have already got action points. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Goliath controller, roll one die. Uh, if four plus move one Goliath on her terrain, one tile or blow it up. So she starts with a German officer disguised as well, and she has a Beretta. And then on the other side, uh, passive, each time an objective is completed on a terrain, she gets to do the same thing. She basically gets to use event cards, bank them for later, and use them when she wants. And she has a silenced Beretta, only one uh, one weapon, and she's uh, sorry, one dice, and she's got a gas grenade there. Um, and then we're going back to where we were, airfield the barn, central operations. Yeah, we've done all that. So a bunch of stuff there, which is really neat. Then we have the event cards. Sacrilege, I know how I get into these things, but hey, let's deal with it. Uh, so we've got some new events here. I'm not going to read these out because I don't really want to spoil these for myself when I when I play them. Uh, but yeah, a bunch more event cards, which is um, always welcome. Uh, baggies, because these guys are awesome. They like to give us some baggies. You get some extra points for bringing baggies to the table, guys. Uh, we've got some more units, uh, which is handy because when you run out of units, that's the end of the game. A uh, bunch more elite units here. And then we've got these gas uh, gas mask wearing uh, guys as well. I assume these guys are going to be um, yeah, immune to uh, gas, which is cool. Uh, we've got our three guys here, the butcher, the intel officer and the mortar gunner, American, um, Australian and Polish, which is uh, really cool there. On the other side, we've got the uh, Goliath. Um, Goliaths there on the other side, the Elites. Um, so yeah, they look uh, pretty tasty. Okay, and then we've got some more tokens here. So some more door tiles, some more uh, spawn points, the gas grenades, the Panzerfaust, the gas barrels, uh, these Goliath uh, stations here, some more AP things there, and some more gas down there. Um, and yeah, that's the other side, red side for when you've actually activated these, uh, when you place these gas grenades. Okay, let's take a look at some of the terrain tiles here. So straight away, that's pretty cool. We've got like a U-boat uh, and then a bunker. And then um, all these tiles, by the way, yeah, they're all double-sided. So you get outdoor terrain and indoor terrain. So we've got some outdoor terrains there. And then some nice uh, indoor terrain. All this is really good just to give you some variety when you're... Uh, laying all this stuff out. Uh, we've got this one with some uh, plans on there for submarines. Uh, some more indoor tiles there. And some outdoor tiles. Um, I take it that's the Goliath factory there. Then an outdoor terrain on the other side. And we've got an indoor terrain with uh, a vehicle on. That's the first one I've seen of that type. And uh, room buildings on the outside. Some more terrain tiles there. And then we have another indoor one, which looks like a kind of uh, garage. And then, um, okay, there we go. Another one there. And that's everything you get in there, really. Um, uh, really excited to get this to the table. Um, I'm a big fan of V Commandos. I've really enjoyed my time uh, playing this. So um, yeah, if you like what you see here, then please stay tuned to our channel because um, once I've finished V Commandos, I'm probably going to check out Secret Weapon at some point. Maybe not the next thing I do after V Commandos, but it definitely will be uh, coming up in the near, uh, not too distant future. Um, okay, so 
just a bit of admin here. I've been Adam. If you've enjoyed this unboxing video, then check out our channels. Uh, we're on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. There's a bunch of uh, different videos on our YouTube, which you should definitely check out um, with some more charismatic people than myself on. Um, until next time, guys, stay safe and keep rolling.